once they figured out the formula for memorable power ballads and addictive pop hooks, the Goo Goo Dolls were on their way up the mojo ladder. Add millions of girls going gaga for Goo Goo frontman Johnny Resnick, and you've got Buffalo's most and only mojonated band. Johnny Resnick is a hot-looking guy, and it really helps the band's mojo to have a hot-looking guy as a front person. You don't want, like, a troll as your centerpiece. It's, I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. We got no mojo. <laughs> this band has no mojo. You know, we're a bunch of ditch diggers. If that were true, the Goo Goo Dolls would be digging multi-platinum ditches. They've sold almost six million albums since they formed in 1985. They didn't always have mojo. It took 10 long years before their fifth album, A Boy Named Goo, put the band on the map. But it was their next album, Dizzy Up the Girl, that really sent their mojo meter off the charts. And I don't want the world to see me, cause I don't think that they'd understand. The first single, Iris, a love song that Johnny wrote for the movie City of Angels, struck a chord with pop music fans. Iris was so successful because it's really emotional and it was a coup for the Goo Goo Dolls because it was their breakout hit. I just want you to know then they had another hit from the album. And another. And another. And before long, the Goo Goo Dolls were a household name. To me, the best music is able to actually influence you to feel certain things um, and to become emotional, and they did that pretty well. And the hits just kept on coming with their seventh studio album, Gutterflower. I think this record's got more of an edge on it than the last one. I mean, what we did on Dizzy Up the Girl, it's not where I'm at now, you know. Johnny's also busy expanding his Hollywood mojo. I wrote two songs for a Disney feature animation called Treasure Planet. It's a great movie. It's an awesome movie. It took the Goo Goo Dolls a long time to grab this much mojo, and they're not planning on letting go of it anytime soon. We're still here, you know, <laughs> and I can't name, you know five bands that have been together as long as we have and are still making current relevant records. We're up to number 23. If she wasn't Destiny's Child...